Welcome to round two. On the play, or on the draw here, excuse me. Sand looks fine to start. The turn one reclaimer. And once upon a time, giving us some options. And we'll take a cloud post here. This might be a counter here. Maybe a bolt. Yeah. Looks like Rock Delver. Okay. Let's just play that around days. start playing our cloud posts out here. And this is one of my problems when I did try Sylvan Library in the past in this deck. I feel like, despite just being a two mana card, the, the way the deck, this deck wants to use its mana over the course of a game, I feel like I'm not going to have a chance to even cast this library for a while here. This looks like a stifle. Yeah. Alright, well... At least we got a Stifle and a Wasteland out of that one Wasteland there. Are right, gonna play the Maze out next? God. Play Reclaimer, play Maze, and also hold up Crop Rot. It's looking pretty dire now. back, I guess. Alright. This out, because I need all the mana I can get. They're going to play another flyer. I might have to search up a Glacial Chasm this next attack step. Probably would be wise. I could safely... Crop Rotation here. I don't know, I guess I can't. I should have done that earlier if I was going to do that. Just to get like another land that I want to exchange for one of these forests. Alright, let's just do this. I guess they could have Stifle too, so I should be careful about that. Yeah, I'm gonna just attempt to reclaim her for Chasm here. Sweet. But yeah, if I had like crop rotted for like another glimmer post, then I could set my mana up better this next uh these next few turns. All right. Well, since they have one card in hand, now I probably will use the crop rot that in that way. Uh, the fact that it's a fetch land here. To give me that one extra mana if I want it. It's kind of awkward. I'm trying to decide if I want to actually fetch with it. I think I do. I'm trying to think how I want to sequence and do everything that I want to do here. I 
thinking of crop routing for a glimmer post, and then in response to the trigger, get a cloud post. But that's really only meaningful if I... Like, that's basically to gain an extra life. And, like, just ta uh, using the fetch land to do that kind of invalidates the whole reason of doing that anyway. So... Let's see, if I play this out, crop rot... Maybe it's just worth it getting the green mana here, and then playing the other needle out. Just crop riding for, I guess, a stage, because I probably will reset this chasm at some point. That way I can have three full mana this turn, and also get the crop ride into something more useful. Because I do plan to uh, resetting this chasm, probably not next turn, but the turn after. Yeah, and this will let me go to one then. So yeah, let's actually just fetch this here. And I'd like to have the second needle down, in case they have another borrower. I should have done the crop rot first, in case they daze here. Okay, let's get a stage here, just so I can have the mana to use Reclaimer. And then I can just go get the cloud post right now. While they're tapped out and they can't stifle me. Maybe instead of the stage, I should have gotten uh, another Cloud Post just to start playing these green cards more easily next turn as well. Like, it's going to feel bad if I don't draw a land here. It's not good. Man, if they have Force Negation, this would be so painful too. I really want to use these one of these green cards at least. I'm going to just go for it. And then on the upkeep next turn, I'll do a Chasm reset. I'll probably lose if they just force negation this. Okay, good. And Glimmer Post is the one that I won't, probably want in most. Let's see, is there anything else worth needling besides Wasteland? Probably not game one. Wasteland. Now I probably will Reclaimer away. Probably just the forest for another cloud post to keep my locust count high. And then next turn. On upkeep next turn, reset chasm, probably get a glimmer post off that. To eventually put me out of bolt range when I do get rid of the chasm. They didn't shuffle. Let's get cloud boost. Alright. Let's do this reset. that they're thinking of stifling and also get rid of this could get I have again also because I am thinking of closing this game out quickly let's see I'll go to one next turn so yeah let's get I right here That'll be good if I draw, like, a Glimmer Post or a Locust Land here. Alright, that's good, though. At least it's a land. Okay, next turn I'll go to one. I'll probably start by Reclaimering for a Glimmer Post. Away this bog. I'll just do it when that happens. Explain it then. Alright. I don't even know if I can... No, I don't think I can even attempt to cast this library here. If I want to go search up an Eldrazi. Alright, yeah. 
let's get another glimmer post to start things off here before I get rid of the chasm. I would die to two bolts right now. So I can still hold off on... I can still keep this chasm around if I want. And then I, upkeep, on upkeep, I could... I, know, I could just like make them have two bolts. Because I don't know how much longer I really want to sit behind this chasm. On upkeep, I could just like sack the forest for another glimmer post and then just get rid of the chasm. But then I don't have enough uh, mana to cast the Emrakul on hand. So it might be worthwhile just to keep the chasm around one more turn. And just get like Kozilek here. And see if I can pull something off from off of that. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. It's also Emrakul or Ulamog the two volcanics. Nah, I want more life. Let's try and draw stuff. This other one more turn. It's not a bad draw. Alright. Let's hold a green. I'll start building my mana right now. Let's get a cloud post with this one. All right, there's a the glimmer post. That's a good draw. They also have also make use of the screen mana here. I guess Excavator is probably the best thing to do. So I'm not really guaranteeing anything else here. I should have played the Glimmer. Nah, I want them to probably counter this. Okay, good. Play Glimmer Post. Number seven. All right, now I can pretty safely. I could just even not get rid of this chasm. I should have one more land. Uh, maybe I should have like once upon a time last turn. All right, we have three lightning bolts opponent. That's basically what has to happen here. And I'll just get another glimmer post rather than making this. Yeah, because I was upkeep triggers already on the stack here. Yeah. This is 21 mana, so I can go get Emrakul. Hopefully I don't have Stifle here. Okay. Alright, I think we did it. Wow. Successfully navigated. Alright. Creature stuff is coming in, as well as carpets. Uh, the rugs, so I'll keep Bog in, but I'll take Rexage out. It usually ends up being Rexage or Bog, whether they're Blue Red or Rug Delver. Oh yeah, that was a good example of why I didn't like Library in the first the first time I tested it. This card just like, you have games where you just never have a chance to actually cast it, because you want to be spending your mana doing other things. Uh, yeah, I've been getting two crops and two maps against Delver. I like all these lands. Oh, depths. That's right. One more cut. Yeah, just library. 
It would be good as like a bait spell, I guess, for counters, but... I'm being convinced pretty quickly that that's not what I want in that flex spot in the deck. Uh, I don't think this is good enough. I like the tabernacle, but... Yeah, this is better. Let's put prime time back. I kind of liked the tabernacle in the opening seven, but that's about the only thing. Yeah, let's get cloud post. Won't be playing it out for at least till the third turn. I like these uh, glimmer posts as well. Ooh, force of will, pitching force negation. It's good for us. Looking to just play forest reclaimer next turn. Oh, let's actually fetch this first turn. Or this turn when the stifle is down. Looks like a good time for a tabernacle. Damn. Now it might be good to tempt him with a cloud or attempt him to wasteland here. Yeah, let's do that. If I'm lucky, they'll waste them like here before the turn ends, but I don't think they will. But I think this is a situation where I just have to eat through this wasteland. Not like much else is going to be. I guess I could have blocked and then got Chasm as well, but it's okay. Go on, opponent. Take a look at the post. It's there for you. Shit. Alright, let's backfire badly. I guess I couldn't even get Chasm, so... Because of that Stifle, it would have been even worse for me. I should get Tabernacle still, though, here. Question is, what do I? What's my land drop this turn? It can't be the cloud post. I actually need the life gain this turn here. Uh, and then I have to tap my reclaimer so I can't block this. So I probably have to go get. I probably just try and block this goyf. Survive these flyers and then go get a maze of it this turn. That's probably the best thing at this situation. And then tabernacle like the turn after that. I'll just get rid of forest here. I'm dead to bolt anyway, so. Somehow there's no sorceries in the graveyard yet either. I'm just going to try and get Maze here. Let's see if they have the Bolt. Uh, Tabernacle's not even a good idea at this point. I think I just get Ramp here. Cloud Post. Play a Glimmer Post, and then... Yeah. That's the best thing. Hmm. Yeah, let's play a Glimmer Post. Hopefully the same thing happens as last turn.
Looks like they have a stifle. I feel like they should do it on the reclaimer if they have that. It's... Well, I have to get. Yeah, even another glimmer post doesn't save me here. Now I'm forced to get chasm. Maybe I can still win from this point, though. Let's see what the opponent does. It looks like they were thinking about Stifle, though. If they have Petty Theft here, I have to go get Chasm. Yeah, if they just counter this here, then I'm dead. They Stifle it, I should say. Okay. What a problem card. At the very start of me playing Reclaimer, I was like, man, Stifle, I hope that card never makes a comeback. And it definitely has. Yeah, after the bans, a lot of hated cards for this deck, like Discard and Stifle, made their way back into the format. Yeah, this sand looks great. I'm going to lead with Carpet. Actually, I'll probably lead with Needle. That way, if that resolves, I could safely play Cloud Post out next turn, which I'm going to do probably anyway. Put it mold to six. Post ward against Delver, Needle and Carpet are the two cards that you're looking to find in the starting hand. Those two one mana permanents are there to like get your game started. Yeah, I'm fine if they daze this still. Sweet. And now I'll just try and go straight for Green Sun for prime time at this point. Next turn, I'll play Stage, make it a Cloud Post. Might possibly even just go for Ayabugan in two turns, depending on if they play another Island out. And just go for some Guaranteed. Uh oh. Okay. Not giving me an Island, that's smart. Uh, let's still just make this stage a cloud post this turn. Hope they don't go third land, borrower, and then wasteland me next turn. That'd be the worst scenario. Lightning bolts, okay. Yeah, it looks like it's... Yep. Okay. Change of plans. God, I hate Brazen Barber. Let's fire this once upon a time off. See if we get Cloud Boost. I'll just do it now. It's not super great. This excavator is probably what I want here. Also take the Caracas. Also take the Kozilek and just have let's see four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe the excavator is probably better. Start deploying threats next turn. I might as well just go get my reclaimer with this. Greens. Nah, I saw Lightning Bolt, so let's definitely not get Reclaimer. Let's still stick to the get prime time plan. Let's 
play out Excavator next turn. Yeah, the next turn I could, if they don't have a counter, get Excavator down, get Stage, and also have the mana to make it a Cloud Post with this Carpet of Flowers. Library. Alright, come on, Excavator. Sweet. Just do this now. It looks like they were thinking of countering. So I'll probably will just go use Eye of Ugin next turn. I'm actually chump with this excavator against the Skoif here. Yeah, I probably should. My life total is getting pretty dangerously low. I guess I can't. I guess I just gotta go for the green sun. Ooh, that could be good. I'm gonna bait with this crop rotation, because it looks like they did have a counter. So yeah, I'm gonna lead with that. Get rid of this forest. Sweet. And now let's just go for the green sun here. I still have a land drop to play as well. Alright, let's get this out first. I guess they could have... yeah, it's fine. Looks like we gotta get Chasm here no matter what. I also don't mind Tabernacle at this point. Oh, damn it, I should have... God, that was such a punt now. If I get Chasm, I'd like to sack whatever one of these lands would be. Might just be rare to get life gain at this point. They used a Bolt, so if I get Tabernacle Glimmer Post, I think I could still live from that. And then I could play... I have Ugin, which is the best possible land. What would I lose to, though? Submerge? Maybe I'll play Bog, just to weaken the Scoif. Maybe that's a better... Yeah, I'm gonna play to my... My Punt. Oh, no, I can't Submerge here. They could Stifle, though. I didn't think about that. Alright, if they have Stifle, then I guess I'm just dead. And the Stelver has to flip. Which, I guess with Library, it definitely will. So you just get two life glimmer posts at this point. If they have another stifle, they do have stifle. Now they would have stifled this, so let's get tabernacle glimmer post. And then Yeah, let's bog. Which one's better? Me or opponent. I have instant land creature. They have instant land. So B, I guess. But yeah, I definitely should have played out my land before the prime time. I could have gotten the chasm. Maybe the opponent was afraid I would play like a glimmer post after the prime time then though, so I don't know. feel like I punted, though, by doing that.
Hopefully just be able to go get Ulamog next turn. And together with Tabernacle, we'll just start clearing their board. Into this afterwards. If they have a stifle, they would probably use it on this prime time right here. I'll just get uh, life gain with this prime time attack. Yeah, let's just get glimmer posts. I have 18 mana with my carpet plus all my cloud posts. So I guess I could leave with once upon a time post combat. Yeah, and they have one card in hand too. I think we got this now though. Another Glimmer Post if I want it. I'll take it. But we're gonna get a Ulamog here. Kinda wanna hit there. Okay, yeah. Opponent conceded. Ah, that was a good game one, though. Tense. Alright, 1-1, one one, stick around.